In spring, we welcome new life in both flora and fauna. It's also an annual ritual to welcome a baby bear to our studio. The cu uh, this cub comes from just down the road in Arizona, a drive through wildlife park in Williams. Kimberly Kraft shares more bear facts from our friends at the park. I'm here today with Kyle Alexander, who is the head animal keeper at Arizona. And welcome, Kyle. I see you have a friend. I do. This is Katie Berry. She's about eight to nine weeks old, just born uh, right around mid-February or beginning of February. And she is a North American black bear. Yes, she is. And she will become 500 pounds. Yeah, sooner or later, yes, she will. We'll, uh, we love this stage, very puppy-like. Everybody can visit with her. Um, but soon enough, she'll be gaining weight like no other. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about her. I mean, what are, what are her characteristics? You know, she likes to climb. She's, uh, every time we feed her, she's going to attack us for the bottle. So uh, right now, we get the privilege of just being able to hold her, um, take care of her. But as soon as she gets that food in her, she knocks right out like any other baby. So, <laughs> um, I, And I know that... Uh, that these little bears are good little recyclers because um, Arizona does take food from the Flagstaff Family Food Bank. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how that program got started and, and how's that working? You know, we used to actually work with uh, St. Mary's and uh, we knew Tim over there. Tim was uh, very gracious of, not, of us, or of him, to uh, allow us to head over there, work with Northern Arizona Food Bank, and uh, we pick up hundreds of pounds uh, weekly. So uh, it gives us, it allows us to be able to give bears like her a variety of food. Um, they're not stuck eating the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Loves to climb, like I said. <laughs> Do they have any predators? Uh, you know, not too many. Besides they, uh, people. Yep, besides people. But uh, they're, especially here in northern Arizona, they're as big as you get. Um, they're, they're not endangered at all. They're found all across the United States, um, even up into Canada. So. Um, and we, we, a lot of times, uh, animals in captivity in zoos, so, so forth, um, keepers often develop stimulating activities for them. And what kinds of things do you do for your animals there? Bears, they're a lot of fun to do that with. And it, enrichment activities, um, they're so smart. They can, they, they figure out there's food in a ball, maybe in a box. Not only that, we can go out there with a little bit of a scent. Um, even if it was a little bit of cologne, maybe Listerine, put it on a tree somewhere, and uh, we're able to, their, their scent of smell is about six times greater than a bloodhound. Wow. So they can go out there, they can find it, it, it stimulates them, and they're, they're enjoying the day every single day. And you said to me that there are a lot of interactive activities at Arizona. Yes, um, right now we're, we got about three activities a day just with the keepers. We're able to uh, allow you to feed the otters, um, even even allow you to watch us feed the bobcats, allow the, everybody guests to see them, enjoy uh, the bobcats attacking their food, going after it, and then sometimes we'll even bring out a little critter like, uh, similar to Katie, it could be our opossums, maybe our prairie dogs running around in a ball. So. Well, it's been such a thrill to have Katie with us. Thank, Thank you, Kyle. you. And as usual, all this information about Arizona and seeing Katie will be on our website at naztoday.com.